one of the things that we did do was we built an encoder system that pick up the coordinates of a bowling ball. We could roll it around and just get a much finer resolution out of the performance. You see inside there, there are two mice which are picking up the coordinates of the bowling ball. We want our movement to be very, very, very slow. We want to be uh, like kind of these kind of currents that are passing through these tentacles. So what we did, we built a robot, and inside are these tentacles that have been driven by motors. These are controlled with two motors that are giving us this swim cycle via some cable operation. Each one of these dials, you can see, is kind of like visually placed over the body, and the animator is able to very, very gently nudge the performance around. And so the animator is never actually walking up to the machine and moving around with their hands. They're doing everything remotely. It simplified everything. You know, it made it easier for the animator to not have to get up on a giant ladder and move this huge eyeball around. I always said it was centipede on steroids. You know, the way you controlled this thing it made it incredibly easy and nerdily fun, you know, <laughs> to get to do. This has sped up the process of stop motion quite considerably. We can have an animator come in for like two hours instead of two weeks.